Welcome to Norwegian Modeling Bench. This is Kenneth and today I would like to do an unboxing of this Montana kit from Joy Yard. It's a 1350 scale kit and I saw this on a Facebook group and I have to say when I just saw the pictures I was I, I need to have this one. And uh, if we take a look at the, the box art, you will see that there is a definitely a lot of details in this kit. Uh, in, in the kit itself, you will uh, get a lot of the super details that you um, usually buy in a detail, detail upset kit, which is included in, uh, in the master package from, uh, from Joyyard. Um, I ordered this on a uh, US site, uh, uh, but it was shipped from China and that worked perfectly fine. It took like one and a half week before I got the kit. No problems at all. I will provide the link to, uh, to the site where I bought it uh, down below so you can take a look yourself. So let's open up the kit and see what we have inside. I have to say that when I opened up this kit the first time, I was really impressed by the, how they have packaged this one. Looks very appealing. They have put uh, a lot of effort into creating a good packaging. First and foremost, we get a complete set of masking for the deck. Uh, so you should be able to uh, Properly mask off the deck when it's painted and, and ready. Uh, so a lot of details that you can mask up, uh, both on uh, the main deck and uh, the other levels. So a really impressive uh, thing to include in the kit, I would say. Then we have the wooden deck. And um, this is 1350 scale, and for me, it looks to be perfectly to scale. The details are very nice. Uh, of course, depending on which scheme you want to, to paint this, is, this in, uh, you, this will probably get a deck blue color. Um, and this is the other side where you can see we also have the wooden parts for, for the boats, the tenders. Really nice details and um, well, on par with uh, what, what we see from KA and Pontus, I would say, in terms of, of the quality at least, without, uh, before uh, actually doing any work on this. So, that of course uh, will prove it will be the proof of in the pudding, as they say. Um, then we get an overview of uh, the armament and, uh, and uh, colors to paint that's going to be used. They have a call out here for. Um, the main colors and then uh, you have also the Tamiya um, color uh, colors that you would need and um, this is the same scheme as the Missouri uh, 22 if I'm not entirely mistaken measure 22 um, then we have a really nice uh, instruction manual. It is, as you can see, uh, of glossy paper. It's uh, both with um, um, images, pictures, and instructions. I won't go into all of uh, the pages in the instruction, but um, if, if we start out with the beginning, you get an overview of all the details that are in the kit. And as you can see, there's both uh, plastic parts, photo etch, scribed uh, brass, decals, masking, resin parts for the um, blast bags. And uh, then you have 
a lot of these instructions both with uh, diagrams and and pictures I, I've tried to take a look at uh, how they do this and it looks like there is a lot of sub assemblies uh, before going into the main um, main main instructions for the build this is a very nice waterline template that you can use here as well so you can get the both um, the high and low mark on the hull uh, so that's a that's a nice addition which I'm not seen before included in a kit otherwise uh, there are a lot of details I find these instructions a bit confusing at this point in time but I guess it's uh, something that you will get used to when when starting working on um, on uh, the build itself so uh, there's, uh, there's something different I would say than the regular trumpeter Tamiya instructions but still very very nice um, and you will also see that we actually have a lot of details also for the interior so if you take a look at uh, the bridge part here you will get uh, both the wires which is in the ceiling you will get interior details so they have really gone far beyond what uh, we can see from other kits which is quite impressive so let's take a look at what we have inside of parts so again i would say that the layout is very nice so you can see all the the main packages on this uh, upper level with uh, plastic of two types both zip bags and uh, well kind of a shrink wrap and then we have this box in the middle which contains the photo etch so this is an example of one of the sprues that you get hopefully the sheen won't be too disturbing and if you can see what details they have added to the plastic parts this is definitely a lot more detail than you will find in most of the kits that uh, you can find in the market i will say the plastic seems to be a, a bit hard uh, not sure what i can compare it with it's like uh, something in between of tamia and trumpeter i guess or more like maybe the la the latest airfix plastic type but maybe a bit uh, harder than and than that one what i also have seen is that they provide a lot of details on the underside so you have all the girders that are going on uh, underneath the platform which is usually something that you either don't get at all especially on the plastic parts but something that you add with photo etch so i would say this is uh, it's it's a new level definitely the next uh, sprue is this one it's packed in a regular uh, uh, plastic zip bag i'm not sure why but it's the same level of detail and again if you take a close look at at uh, this railing you can see it's very thin so it's actually more to scale than I have seen on other plastic parts in 1350 scale so again this is really impressive molding and uh, I haven't um, seen that there is a lot of extraction marks uh, those extraction pin marks that are placed in uh, places where you need to do a lot of uh, touch-ups but the, they are sticking out in some places so you need to make sure to cut them off at least otherwise um, it's uh, not a lot of flash 
I don't haven't seen a lot of mold lines in places where it shouldn't be. So it's it's a very very tidy tidy molding I would say. <clears throat> Then we have a bag of uh, minor parts, um, both uh, the the Seahawks and if, if you can, if you take a good look at, uh, at the cowling for the, uh, the plane, really, really detailed for a 1350 scale kit. So I'm just impressed. And you can see here the panel lines on uh, on the plane wings. There is just a lot of de the details. Riveting, panel lines, everything is in place, it looks like. So when we're removing the upper level cardboard, uh, we get the entire hull with the deck and also some bags uh, with the, the turrets and other detail. I don't think uh, I would go into each and every of this, uh, these uh, sprues. Uh, that would probably be a bit too, um, too tedious. Um, but take, let's take a look at the hull, because that's quite interesting. It's a bit hard to get uh, the entire hull in, in view, but uh, I think that the most interesting thing here is to take a look at the paneling. So you can see there, there are very, very nice panel uh, lines and the panel molding apparently has been done in, in different ways. They're both uh, recessed panels and protruding panels. Uh, so you have like an overlap type of, uh, of paneling. Uh, there are no big marks, uh, no sink marks or anything like that. Uh, uh, unless we take a look at uh, the aft part here. This is the area, I'm not sure if it's visible but this area, there is a sink mark and it's on both sides. I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, very easy to, to do because you have to rescribe a lot of these panel lines and you might of course use epoxy and, and, and rebuild this area, but I'm not sure if it's going to be nice or not. Um, and I'm not sure if it's going to be very visible when it's all painted up. But you can see that that that's it, it's quite uh, it's quite a lot actually. That was the only big thing that I saw. If you see here on uh, the deck, the the wooden deck uh, is uh, you, of course you're going to use the wooden deck if you if you buy the master package. But again, this plastic details are really really good for. Uh, for showing off uh, a wooden deck, so you can definitely paint this up and get a good result. And as you can see, all the details are sharp and nice. And uh, again, this is uh, at least on a Tamiya level, if not, if not above. Um, Yes, there's not much more to say. You also have uh, panel lines uh, on the underside. Um, I really haven't looked at the hull shape, if that is um, accurate or not. But, uh, well, they didn't really build the Montana, so it's not a lot of pictures to look at. To, to, to do that. Uh, I haven't seen any um, hull drawings or anything like that, uh, so it's going to be a bit difficult for the Montana class. Uh, so this is BB67 and there were, they planned to build five, I think, of the Montana class, but none were built because they 
put their efforts and resources into building the Essex uh, aircraft carriers instead. Then we have uh, the box that we had inside. So let's open up and see. So first and foremost, we have decals or decals. I'm not sure how the quality of these are, uh, but um, it looks okay. And you have both uh, markings for the 67, 68, 69, and 70, and 71. And also for, so we have Montana, Ohio, Maine, Louisiana, New Hampshire. So you should be able to actually build all of the different uh, Montana class um, ships. And then you have the markings for the planes, it looks like. Then we have uh, some of the scribed parts. So it's the, the some of the whip uh, antennas, it looks like. And um, then you have barrels for uh, orlicans and so on. Then there is a package here of photo etch parts. I'll open up so we can take a look inside. So these are covered in plastic on both sides. So this is like trumpeter does, uh, which is a bit annoying in the, in, in the 1350 scale because the parts are usually quite tiny and you risk ripping off the minor parts. Um, so that's something to be aware of. Otherwise, uh, it looks to be quite nice photo etch. I wouldn't say it is uh, the same quality as for uh, Pontos and uh, KA, but something in the middle. You also have here Amorax, um, and uh, what looks to be jigs, or maybe you use them, but it it might be jigs for uh, for some of uh, the ladders. Then we have a photo etch for uh, the Bofors, Orlicans, and so on. A lot of tiny, nice stuff here. Um, there is a lot of sheets, uh, I don't think it's good, we, we don't need to go into each and every one in detail, but there is a lot of doors and uh, looks like parts for the Olicons, uh shields, yeah. So it's both a combination of uh, brass photo etch and steel, it looks like. Really nice detail here for the bridge floor. So th th this is definitely super detailed. So here we have the antennas, the radars, stairs. The usual railing. Cranes, ladders, catapults. More of the stairs. It looks to be wires of some kind. Then we have uh, the mounting rack for um, the gas flasks. Um, bridge details. Looks like these are the windows for the bridge. The stairway. Really, really nice. Then we have um some resin parts so we have uh, blast bags here for um, 
the main guns. And as you can see, the wrinkles on these blast bags are actually different for each and every one. So that's also a nice, uh, nice touch. And it looks like you have the possibility to have them in uh, two different elevations. Then we have uh, the anchor chain. And then we have a lot of ba uh, different bags here with uh, with scribed parts. I don't think we need to go into details other than maybe taking a look at the main guns. 406 millimeters that there were 12 of. So four turrets with uh, three each. So 12 pieces, yeah. So you get both then the option of uh, replacing the plastic uh, uh, barrels with uh, uh, brass barrels. So that's also very, very nice. Yes, so that like is everything from the package. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on the uh, this kit. Looks to be a very detailed kit and uh, a very nice combination. So you don't need to go out and buy a lot of extra details to, to get a really nice model. So let's see when uh, I have time to take a look at this. I'm definitely going to, uh, to take um, and build the uh, Missouri before I'm going for this one. I hope that you like this one. Um, I, I see that not many people uh, find unboxings of uh, value, but I, I like to, to do uh, some research before buying things uh, and, and models. And I think unboxing videos are of value to me at least. Uh, if you don't, then uh, skip them you don't need to to, to look uh, otherwise until uh, next time keep safe and bye for now